Nets world. It's your boy AJ back again. It's Nets Kingdom. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any breaking Nets news. And follow me on Instagram at Nets Kingdom 711. Follow me on Twitter, Nets Kingdom AJ. And don't forget to get your merch. Merch is up. Link in the description, bknetskingdom.org. Cop some merch. Get your girl a Nets Kingdom hoodie. She will like it for sure. So, guys, the breaking news. We have some breaking news. Nicholas Claxton. Nicholas Claxton is available for tomorrow's game versus the Timberwolves. The Nets center has missed the last 17 straight games with a non-COVID illness and hasn't played since October 25th. Oh my God, Nick Claxton is finally back, y'all. And you guys know I'm a Claxton fan. Uh, I love Claxton, and I really, really, really hope he gets to get into the game tomorrow. I know he hasn't played in a long time. His his condition is probably going to be bad, but I feel like this is a good opportunity for him to get into the game. Hopefully, Steve Nash plays him a couple minutes. It don't got to be super amount of minutes, but this is a good um, team to test out Nicholas Claxton's minutes against. Now, we play the Wolves tomorrow. Um, the Wolves is not really a bad team. You think about it, the Wolves are 11 and 11, so they're not that bad, you know? And I was looking at the Wolves' stats. They actually have, they're a top 10 defense. Um, it says they're seventh in defensive efficiency, and they're actually a ninth. Uh, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, they're 13th in points per game. So they're actually a pretty, pretty good offense and a top 10 defense. So this could be a trap game. I know most people think, oh, the Wolves are the Wolves and they're bad. And they actually haven't been playing that bad this year. Um, D'Lo, D'Lo has been amazing for them this year. Now we look at the Wolves' depth chart. It says here they got Patrick Beverly. They said Patrick Beverly is going through injury problems. He's out. Uh, D'Angelo Russell at the shooting guard, of course. Anthony Edwards, you guys know him. They're saying he's day-to-day. Jared Vanderbilt has a day-to-day. And Carl Anthony Towns, I think he just had... um something wrong with his back he had an x-ray on his back but i think he's okay too so those guys could be in could be out we don't know for sure we won't know till like literally before the game starts that they'll play but they do have some injury you know some guys you know beating up they look at their bench they have malik beasley torian prince Jaden mcdaniels and Nas reed um so their bench is not really that good but um, they have a, a lot of guys are day to day on this team, so I'm not sure who's going to be in the lineups, but all I know is this could be a trap game. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to think, oh, we, we should just run over the Wolves. Yeah, this could be a trap game. I know it was the Wolves and we're at home, but you never know. Like I said, the NBA is always every night some a, 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 a bad team beats a good team, you know, a, a team that's not supposed to be a, a great team beats a great team it always happens in the nba so we just got to be careful what we do here against the wolves but i'm so happy for claxton i'm 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 rooting for claxton again i'm interested to see will steve nash um how he's gonna put claxton um interject claxton with the rotations we know what claxton is right when he's at his best he can guard one through five um you can use that switch ability to switch onto guards you know what i'm saying we don't have to get exposed at that five let's say lamarcus is getting hurt um they're, they're hurting lamarcus with the guard matchup you can easily insert claxton there and classic can guard one through five now his i know i know next nation is upset with him and he's weak and he's trapped but you guys got to remember, like, he still could be used. You know what I'm saying? He's only 22 years old. It's not like he's had so much time in the league to um, develop. You know, he's – I'm not making excuses for him. I'm not making excuses for Claxton, but, like I said, he's still young, and you, you guys still got to just – I know this is his, like, third year in the league or whatever, but you still got to give him time to, um, you know, just – get adjusted get adjusted and have a i know he he hasn't had a full season yet you know what i'm saying which is what's crazy with him but i'm just hoping for the best i'm hoping that he just shows us a little something not even it don't have to be no 40 uh 20 minutes it could be 10 minutes of claxton and i'll be he'd be happy just just show us a little something but the other point i want to put in that with claxton coming back is will this make harden better I mean, Harden now has a lot threat. People say that um, James Harden plays better with a rolling, fast, big, athletic big. You know, like Clint Capella, 
Harden did a lot of great things with Clint Capella when Clint Capella was on the Rockets. So they're saying Harden is better with a rolling big off that pick and roll. This gives Harden an option when he does a pick and roll with Claxton. He has a lob threat, and that could maybe open up his floater, open up a lot of things for Harden. You know, maybe it'll open up Harden's game. It won't only make, you know, Claxton make, plays better with Harden, but Harden can play better with Claxton. It could work both ways. You know, they could feed off each other, and it could work both ways because, you know, Harden is good at finding Claxton in those little spots. You know, it don't even have to be a lob. Sometimes it'll be a, a nice pass, bounce pass. It could be a, you know, get a, get Claxton in his spot around the rim. It could be one of those. So hopefully we see good. Cla- hopefully we see we see Claxton tomorrow. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Nicholas Claxton being available after so so long. I think I feel like it's been it's been so long since we've seen Claxton and literally like almost. Since, I think we haven't seen him since the beginning of the year. That's how <laughs> the beginning of the, the game, the season. That's how that's how long it's been since we've seen Nicholas Claxton. But let me know in the comments again if if you guys how you feel about Nicholas Claxton. How many minutes should Claxton get tomorrow? Do you think we should play Claxton tomorrow? I mean, we have a back to back with the Bulls, so I'd rather play Claxton this game um, tomorrow on Friday than playing Claxton against the Bulls. I'd rather play Claxton against the Wolves. You know, the Bulls is a team, a really, really great team. So if I won't be upset if Claxton doesn't play that game because, again, it's a good team we need to beat. And you guys know how we do against good teams. But I'd rather we play Claxton against this young Wolves team that doesn't really have a lot of bigs coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? They don't really have – I mean, they have Malik, Torian, Prince – um, I'm looking at their roster. They don't, Jared, um, Nas, Nas Reed, they have a really young team. So it's like, even if it's, let's say we start off this game with a blowout or it's a blowout early, I just hope Claxton gets run. He, Nas should put Claxton in the game if it's a blowout too because it's, he should get run. You know what I'm saying? Get, this is where he gets his um, wind under him, you know? So let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Nicholas Claxton. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram at NetsKingdom711. It's your boy AJ. I'm out.